Guys, it's been a minute. Um, only one bike in the garage. Got a trailer for two. There's a problem. But there's going to be a solution today. So a little backstory. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I sold the RS660 after about seven, eight months. I think I picked it up in February of 22. Uh, yeah. Built that bike up. As y'all saw, there's a few videos I did on it. Um, going forward, went and picked up a uh, ZX10R. It was kind of an impulse bike, not the best, but a uh, sweet bike. Um, flashed already, did rear sets, did full suspension. Um, rode Coda once, twice, no two days. Just didn't really like the stock suspension, too stiff. So after doing the uh, aftermarket K Tech, I think it was a non DDS in the front and then the DDS Pro rear shock. Um, took it out to ECR, rode that twice, and boom, in the season. Well, had all track fairings, you know, had two sets. So all that's left is from when I, to what I'm now about to tell you, from when I got rid of it. Um, recently sold it a couple months ago in search of another hobby, which that explains. Do a lot of firearms training. Um, got bored of the whole bike scene. Well, fast forward now. 2022 me and my buddy jesse are one that was taking up that spot right there um we're getting the 2023 bmw s1000 rs and one has landed today so we're gonna see how that goes and see if i bring home a bike all right cashier's check so we're paying out the door on this bike i'll give y'all down i'll give y'all the uh, spec spreadsheet once we pick up the bike Not, that's not to do that until you're actually here and buying the bike. You know I, mean? I appreciate that. And then of course, to the best of my ability, I will show you how it all works before we ride it home. <laughs> you don't want me in that bloody video. And I'll give her a bit of a spruce up for you as well, so she's not quite so smoke. Get the rear seat right now, it's got the passenger delete on it. They are taking it to the back. Okay, so scrolling menu across the top mm -hmm. on this button here, right? So petrol gauge. The bike's got two whole miles on it. It's your odometer. Uh, trip one, 2.1, trip two. It's currently getting 16 miles to the gallon. That will get better, of course, because it's brand new, right? Um, bike's <laughs> been alive literally 11 minutes its whole life right? ah. yeah so it's all you mate it's all brand new uh, take a break yeah okay bmw i'll do what i want that's uh, funny average speed 16 whole miles an hour right tpms obviously there's no values in it currently once okay. it gets going does once the wheel speed sensors pick up it will throw a value in. is that every time or is it just a one time thing? every time okay every time it's got to be moving before your values is there gone. a uh option to kind of set yes low pressures we'll get, we'll, get, track. we'll okay. get into that so when you start doing track days you don't want the bike screaming at you that you're running low pressures right yep uh we all need to know what our intake into, temperature yep. is okay because that's important right. uh and range to empty of course that's going to get a wee bit better because right now it's only showing 16 miles right. to the gallon, okay and then back to your petrol gauge okay so let's do this button brace button so right now you your modes on your button, you get Brand. four You get four up here. So you've got rain, road, dynamic, which is sport, okay? And race, okay? We'll get into your um, track settings and everything else in the deep dive menu. But right now you've got four on the button up here, okay? Gotcha. All right, so my suggestion is going to be- Road or dynamic? Leave it in road or dynamic, at least initially. Okay, stay okay. out of race mode until it's broken in a little bit. Okay, so we'll leave it in road for you. Okay, if you are on the move and you're switching modes here, 
suppose the throttle let it roll over. Statically, it will do whatever you want, but if you're moving, it will want you to close the throttle before it will change modes. Got it. Okay. Essentially, rain mode. It's just going to soften and boost up traction control. Where it comes in, your ABS and TC will click in sooner than later. The inverse, obviously, would be race mode where everything's going to happen. Traction control, right here. You can turn it off anytime you want in any race or any road mode that you're in. Okay, hold the button and it will tell you because that traction mode DTC is lit solid now. I mean, the traction control is off. Okay, so it's like like the pro you had. Right. Default is always on. Awesome. So okay. once you re-energize your bike, your traction control will always go off. So it only turns off unless you turn it off, or if you're in Race Pro 1, 2, or 3, or all those other Race Pro modes. Got it. Okay? All right. Um, cruise control, yes, it's got cruise, and it's very automotive, like, in as much as it's... I never thought I would have used it in my Pro until you, I got stuck until in you, car. Right, and then you do, right? Yeah. And you, like, you never buy a bike without it, right? So basically, it's either on where you can manipulate that button or it's off and you can't okay so if it's on 80 miles an hour set is that what it's limited to no. okay my zx10 was like that really but yeah you couldn't go past 85 like 85 with the cruise you, you could not go any gear and none okay. of that you had to be in at least minimum of third gear at least going 40 miles an hour and you couldn't go over 85 i don't believe this is my 660 this may have a top speed limit but it's not 80 i guarantee you okay um to defeat, obviously, usual stuff, either brake, dip the clutch, and it will turn it off, but leave it on, the cruise, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can then resume. Press down, okay. Right? Or, and then you can slow down, Bump slow down, it. slow down, speed up, Got speed it. up, speed up. Here's the interesting thing. You will find that this actually increments into kilometers an hour as opposed to miles an hour. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Sometimes you're going to click it down, and it won't actually go down, and then do it again, and it will go down. So it's actually... In they may have fixed it, but it used to be on a couple of bikes I did on BMWs, on GSs and stuff. It incremented in six tenths of a mile, which is not unusual because these bikes. So I won't, probably won't notice it that first press or two. Don't worry about it. Okay. You'll get used to it very, very quickly. Okay. All right. So, so we went round this menu on the top. Okay. Now we're going to go round it that way, down. Now we're into my vehicle, and what we're doing is basically we're following the squiggles, right? Mm -hmm. So squiggle there, squiggle there, right? Booyah. All right, so now you've got five screens. One, two, three, four, five. First screen is water temperature. And again, TPMS, okay? Again, no values until your wheel starts spinning. It's probably 13.1 volts, 182 miles to empty, right? Now we're on the wonder wheel. Okay. If I want to go over to the next screen, so there okay. it is. Yeah. So this is all your trip one, okay? And then if you want to reset your trip one values, go down and that's where you're going to reset your values, okay? I'm going over to the next screen, third of five, all right? This is all your trip two. Trip two, you can do an automatic reset setup on it if you want to, which means every time you re-energize your, your, your bike, it will automatically reset all your trip two values back to zero. I like that smart feature. Yeah. It's a smart feature. It's a nice thing to have if you're doing road, uh, you know, road trips, that kind of stuff, okay? Okay, we're in three or five, now we're in four or five, and this is your TPMS, your actuals, and your specs 3642 on this bike. And those are road values, obviously, okay? Sorry, I keep sticking my finger in. No, you're good, you're good, I have it focused on the screen. Okay, so 3642 are your road values, obviously you're gonna drop those way low when you start tracking this bike, probably down to 32, 33. Yeah, 32, 21. Right, right 27, yeah. 21, right. Those exactly. rally slicks, you gotta run them pretty low. Exactly, right, and then fifth screen, okay? So it's gonna tell you your first service is due 620 miles. Uh, don't worry about the 2016 date. because Oh, hold on, what year is this? We can't turn, we can't <laughs> turn back time, all right? I'm, oh, gonna, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. What's going on, Randy? Mm -hmm. Got my eyes on you, sir. All right, R remember that screen? Watch. Mm, booyah. All right, okay. I like that one better. Right, okay, so. And that's going to give you a percentage of dynamic traction control that you're using, okay? It's going to give you a max lean angle left and a max lean angle right, okay? And yeah, hopefully your side stand doesn't lean harder left than you do. Legend, right? Brake pressure, okay? There's more. 
Boom. Now you got another one. Lap timer. Okay, so that's the one with your lap timer. It's a little busy, but obviously that's where you're going to play with your lap timer. And then you can come in and adjust. Stop recording what laps, delete all laps, reset this, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, I do so have an external recorder for that. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, I figured you've got a set up anyway, yeah. right? And there's another one. Hmm. Same thing, it's just a little more digital as opposed to an analog. Me, yeah, I like to see dials sweep, so. Yeah. I do too. Right. Yeah. I can't read these things, drives me crazy, okay? So, we're gonna get out of that. But the standard screen obviously looks like that, okay? All right, back over here. Navigation, media, telephone, settings. Now, you can Bluetooth your, your phone in, mm -hmm. okay? Once you've got your phone, and I'm, I'm not gonna do it for you, I'm gonna have you do it when you get home, because it's easier, because you're a yeah. lot better with a phone than I am. And that will allow you then to do turn by turn up here off the connected app, BMW. Okay. So, you're gonna download the connected app, okay? Once you've got it downloaded and you Bluetooth your phone in, you can go in, find where you wanna go, all right? Bang it in here, boom, 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 six in Guadalupe, and it'll give you turn by turns up on your screen. Okay. It's free, don't question it. Okay, look, I've got this bike. This is connected to an R18B that I sold two months ago. I really should have disconnected that. So I should have never <laughs> anyway, and then, then because this is greyed out, and then that will, will light up, and then you can also then manipulate any media off your phone with your wonder wheel here. Okay, telephone, same thing. Make phone calls, delete phone calls, you know. Sweet. Right, so it's kind of cool takes the whole fumbling out of, out of your jacket. <coughs> exactly, it can stay in there, you can do everything right through your bike, right? You can also add a Cardo or a Cena into your bike. Hmm. Right. It might be time to get a new one. I right, so here's, here's my suggestion on that. Don't, okay? Why so? Well, because it can get a bit confusing for the bike, because it doesn't know whether the shit will go blind, to be honest with you. Gotcha. Am I talking to the phone? Am I talking to a Cena? What the Christ you want me to do, mm -hmm. right? Me, I run my son. This is where the fun really starts, mm -hmm. right? So assist, damping, boom. This is where you're gonna go and adjust your ESA, yeah. okay? That's where I'm gonna be quite a bit so, playing around with that. Road, dynamic, race, race pro one, two, and three. Okay, now these are grayed out right now because you don't have race one, race pro one, two, or three set up on your, on your, on your toggle yes. button. And I'll show you how to do all that, okay? But obviously in race, your damping is gonna be stiff as buggery, and obviously it's going to settle down so we're going to leave it in road right now because that's mm -hmm. where you're going to ride the bike but that's where you're going to go and make those adjustments okay all right vehicle settings here we go riding mode pre-selection this is the fun shit okay so i told you you got four on the button mm -hmm. right now they are rain road dynamic and race right if we want to get into race pro one two and three we've got to lose one to get one and i'll put it all back to where it was so we're going to turn rain off uh, I see. see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, and now it's giving you the option to go one, two, or three. So let's let's put Race Pro One in, okay? And we'll go play. So now you can configure Race Pro One, and they've made it a lot easier because it used to be once you got into Race Pro, all three popped up, and it was just a mess because you could change everything in all three modes. Now. Is your one mode? Only got four on the bum. And by the way, you've got to be st static before you can change into Race Pro 1, 2, and 3. You can't, you can't spin those on the fly. Okay. Okay? So you've got to be stopped, parked up, neutral, toggle up Race Pro, right? Now, you can go in and make your adjustments to power, braking, DTC, wheelie or anti-wheelie, depending on which way you want to look at it, how much ABS you've got going on. And there it is, okay? So, let's say you wanted in Race Pro 1. Now it will loop all the way till next week. Okay, because you've got no anti-wheelie at all, okay? High wheelie possible, minimal support is one, two, Slight wheelie, ba ba bump. So most drive, less wheelie. Go down one. See how it's kind of like partially blue in yep. the background. Is that indicating yep. what it recommends? Typically, yes. Okay. Okay. And 
it can go up to okay yeah okay so three is max it will not you can turn off DTC you can dump the clutch it will it's in the sit there and look at it and go no not gonna happen okay right so it's ultimately infinitely configurable to a point so an example of that would be let's say you have give it hand another handful or just hit the brake or, or or put it in gear put it away and turn it off for you but it automatically turns it on so you don't have to give it a big squeeze to activate it okay yeah, don't put it in auto yet leave it in manual till you get used to it because it freaks people out a little bit well it does me but then i'm old lap, <laughs> lap timer yes it's got one so your debounce time okay Still your trigger manual or external so trigger so you can do an external trigger off whatever your other setup is you're adding to this bike okay um, display duration reference best and then laps in progress okay shift light yes it's got one you can configure it so you can have that tack on with a flash at you at your preset RPMs or whatever you want to do. And that's going to be so after the service? After the service. Okay. Let's not play with it yet. If you want to be shifting at 12,000 RPM, it will it'll shout at you. Shift, right? So it's a configurable shift light, all right? All right, system settings. Let's get in there. Date, time, units, and language. Let's have a quick look, make sure everything's all set. Uh, you want 12 or 24 hour? 12. 12 hour, okay. Um, that's wrong so let's set that I've got Christ I can't see what, what time you got I've got uh, 420 yep. Dang. okay so that's set uh, date format we'll leave it incorrect month day year I know the rest of the world is day month year right? okay, mm -hmm. we'll leave it incorrect let's set it one nineteen twenty three. It's a good day, one nineteen twenty three. Mm. What that has done now in your service light when it says your service due, it will it will change it's better it said two thousand sixteen, it'll now say something different. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's get out of that. Units should be standard consumption miles per gallon US, PSI and Fahrenheit, right? language english us okay so everything's good there connections this is where you go in and add your phone and your cardo or Sino, whatever bluetooth setup you're using okay display you can adjust the brightness and your speed limit info should you so wish okay information licenses and software if there's a software rev up on this when it comes in they're going to plug in a laptop to this anyway if there's any software revs it will suck them in and piece of cake okay and then do not pass code do not collect two hundred dollars reset all so if you get it all bollocked up so much you don't know which way is up reset everything back to factory settings to start again okay easy out right okay um heated grips yes it's got heated grips okay right on this button so booyah three these will be uncomfortably hot with lightweight gloves or no gloves on in three Okay, basically all you're doing with three is knocking the frost off, mm -hmm. okay? Two is to a medium, one is tepid, off is off, okay? All right. Um, you've got span adjustment. All the way out, all the way in. And of course, the brake over, so, yep, all right? Same on your brake side. All the way out or all the way in you set them up that's just in case and you know what all that's about right you want to hear it yeah let's go for it all right
plastic? No. Yes, it is. It's roto molded plastic. Huh. That's a clean break. Right. So <laughs> that's your potentiometer for your ESA, okay? Obviously don't mess with it because it's measuring yeah. rebound and damping and everything else, okay? I'm just showing you where it is. There's no adjustment you need to do here or up front, okay? Um Obviously, we know that is your solenoid for your quick shifter. Once it realizes there's a bit of pressure on this, it will cut spark and lay you into the next gear up or down. But if you want to switch it over to GP, that one comes out and pops over there. Piece of cake, 30 Sweet. seconds. It's a one beer job. Fuck, man. Yeah, it's awesome. Isn't it? That's a one sip awesome. job. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's a, it's a Hennessy one sip job. Yes, it is. God, this thing is golden, bro. Now, here's what I will tell you, though. Boom. Okay. So Catch that thing. Oh, he's anal about everything. It's He'll a little remember. Little bit sticking out in the wind. Right? But it'd be me that wouldn't. I'd be like, bam. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, no, broke your bike. <laughs>